what are you seeking there is nothing important to seek now isn't it so let the mind play let the mind play the game that it is playing and um, is it uh, troubling the seeker destroy the seeker then the seeker need not need not be there what is seeker doing after enlightenment enlightenment is the destruction of the seeker isn't it that which is seeking finds himself as not existing the one who is seeking finds himself as not existing this is enlightenment now what is the seeker doing there okay so this this should take away this kind of difficulty that you are facing but uh, there is another part of the story because this is a spiritual thing you see it is never so simple uh, you will say that okay enlightenment but i still have a body and I, i still have this mind which is probably not going to go away very soon there will be more birth and there will be births and there will be more uh, levels of existence after this so what to do and here the seeking comes back now you cannot uh, do anything stupid with your life so you decide that uh, okay i'll take care of the body i'll take care of the family and i'll take care of uh, my business or whatever uh, plus i'll do a little bit of r and d like research i'll try to um, refine my mind and so on so uh, you knowingly decide to play this game and uh, the mind resistance of the mind the activity of the mind is a part of the game now there is nothing to worry so what are we saying research and death seems to be the only options yes there is uh, when, when the seeking is over there is nothing to do really uh, even the next birth will not happen if if there are no strong tendencies there so it is a complete death it is total liberation from uh, limited existence it is i'm not saying there won't be an existence there will be existence the existence cannot be destroyed isn't it but it will be end of the bondage bondage of the mind so while it is ending while the fan is spinning down the motor is spinning down you utilize this time for something useful you see get more knowledge <laughs> knowledge uh, you got the basic knowledge you got the essential knowledge now get the specialized knowledge which is also called the vigyan the it is not the gyan it is vigyan it is uh, specialized knowledge which is which will be mostly about the knowledge of how the uh, illusion works how the maya works uh, we take interest in that and usually that interest will also go away as soon as the body is dropped now everything is open before you now what what are you going to know here <laughs> it is all a play anyway is all a play of consciousness so whatever you know here has absolutely no use in the knowledge of maya is absolutely useless because it is not real you see it is just a play once you know something oh this happens in this way you are going to find something which happens in exactly the opposite way <laughs> because yes why not why not all all possibilities are there so what use is this knowledge that the x happens in the y way so what use is this knowledge which is not certain where every possibility is a possibility where are you going to use this knowledge you know it as a play and then you play you play without um worrying whether i know something or not you see you drop in the certainty also learn to live in uncertainty that is what there is actually the knowledge that uh, we, the the vigyan or the specialized knowledge that we think is so certain is actually an ignorance it looks certain because of our own limitations for example you know that that uh, the water flows down always or the when you throw a stone upwards it it falls down always well this is not true really it is true only in this dimension in this limited experience that we are having if you take this knowledge to the higher planes for example or um wherever i accept this universe you will find that it was totally useless it is of no use in other dimensions so some some other things are true there you see which are not useful here so it is mind in the mind everything is true everything is false and everything is not true and everything is not false it's kind of useless activity and that's why we call it play because it is entertaining there is nothing else to do the whole existence is my play that is what a seeker is doing 
you will say that okay you give all the knowledge on the first day on the path of uh, uh, knowledge then uh, on the direct path then how am i going to spend my life because i wanted to spend it in seeking you kill the seeker on the first day now what and that is where this concept of play comes in we like to play with knowledge that's all and if the mind is troubling you 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 already know that there is no mind the mind is an illusion the trouble it creates is are also illusory so that gives you a place to stand and play do not get carried away do not get pulled with the wind of the mind you see it is like a hurricane it will pull you but you need to stay on the ground of knowledge that is how you deal with it <laughs> remain in awareness remain in your true nature and play 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 you know the seeker is not there invent a seeker do something with it with it or you see that, that is the not the only way to spend time you can encourage others you can enlighten others spread the knowledge just like one lamp lights the other lamp without diminishing in any way or without any effort the other lamp catches fire isn't it just bring the lamp extinguish lamp in contact with uh, the lamp that is lighted the other lamp catches fire this lamp does not do anything it takes no effort so why not yes it is a service so this is the proper service you don't do anything it is acting without actions but still you get the results <laughs> you you get the positive results isn't it it's, it's amazing it's amazing so uh, there can be two fold purpose you can say why can't i do both that is what i am doing i keep researching i keep seeking fully knowing that seeking has ended and i keep sharing this lighting the lamps it is a pleasure it is the, it is the uh, it is the only pleasure in this play <laughs> what else is there you are me already if you are ignorant you are still me if you know and laden you are still me you do not become something else you remain me so it is completely useless but that is the pleasure that is the play here superveen is saying a shakti only is everywhere i need to focus on shiv once realization about shiv is there no value of knowing anything about shakti and that is extremely true it is very very true words you have said it we do it anyhow we accept the shakti also we see that shakti is playful isn't it and the shakti is mischievous the shakti is all illusion it's all lies so it it is a make believe but we like it you see we accept it okay you are also me shakti is also me isn't it so if you uh, reject shakti then kind of this problem because the married life of shiv and shakti is in trouble now <laughs> so uh, you accept shakti also you see play with shakti and uh, you know you are discovering something totally useless isn't it it is like the, the child playing on the beach makes the um, castle or you know digs up some crabs or something and leaves them again in the ocean it is a, a totally useless activity but that is what the child likes that is what he enjoys it totally depends on what you enjoy that is why sometimes i say you know people tell me ask these questions that what should i do in my life they are they keep asking this question even after enlightenment or knowing their a true nature also okay i know it now what to what should i do now and that is the essence of the post enlightenment syndrome isn't it so and there is a very simple answer to this question do that which you like most and do that which you think is necessary because that is what is going to happen anyway there is no doer you already know there is no doer so why are you asking this question but no the mind will Uh, pull out a doer from its pocket you say look here is the doer <laughs> okay now give something to the doer you see and what will doer do because there is no doer things can only happen and what things can happen that which are preferences in the mind that are that which are set in the mind the settings they they drive the mind they drive the actions what are those settings likes and dislikes what what else is going to happen that which the mind thinks is necessary the mind says oh it's necessary to keep the body alive okay keep the body alive oh it's necessary to have some kind of pleasure some kind of you know i'll go and eat outside today and that is what you like to do do it it's all allowed after the after the realization has happened everything is 
as meaningless and everything is meaningful. <laughs> there is nothing to worry about now. And the meaning has lost its meaning. This is the essence of Maya, you see. Appears meaningful but is hollow. There is nothing there. Mughal is saying, the child knows when the play is over and come back to reality. And that is not true for the adults. <laughs> Pretty clever, isn't it? Yes, the adults are lost in the play. That is what we call as identification. They have taken the play as serious. You see, even children do that. When, when they break their toys and uh, whatever, you see, they start crying. But then they are engaged in another play. They start playing with another toy. They even forget what they did yesterday. It is spontaneous, isn't it? Very, very innocent and spontaneous activity. But adults do not do that. They remember what happened yesterday. Oh, you said this to me yesterday. Now I am going to take revenge today. They are lost in the play. Oh no, I, I, I lived a very good life. I had a you know big house in the city. Now I am back on the street. You see, I am suffering now. And look at other people, they are playing, they are, they are enjoying like hell. I am the only one poor fellow here. I have nobody here. <laughs> this is what has happened to the adult mind. We have lost this ability to play. So it is all attachment. It is attachment to this body, which we think is real, which we think is me. It is attachment to the positions and it is attachment to the other people. Cut all these attachments and it will become a play. And then the mind will die out slowly it will it will rise above the play also currently because we are here currently because in, we are in the body it may not be possible to appreciate this thing that it is a play so what you can do like a practical advice you see just start cutting your bondages see where the adult and this adult is probably thousands of years old isn't it it is not only this body mind it is the jeev, it is the causal body that is trapped in the existence, not you, this human, not that. The body does not know bondage actually. The body is a free expression of this physical plane. It just rose out of the dust, it is going back to dust, it is not going to complain. The mind is the troublemaker. <laughs> it is kind of addicted to the existence. Now I will be done, yes. Surrender, surrender this, your will. There is no your will because there is no you. So, with the surrender comes the real experience, and then the real experience starts, which is a spontaneous arising, uh, impermanence, which is purposeless, meaningless, pure play, Leela. That is the real fun there, isn't it? You're not bothered what comes and what goes. Oh, I, I, I got this thing, I succeeded in this thing. Amazing, isn't it? But it is as useless and meaningless as saying that I failed here, I could not do this. I don't have such things that my neighbor has or I am not big enough in the society and that is also meaningless and purposeless. Why is why does it look like an you know, extremely serious thing? Because of the ignorance, because of the attachments. So whenever you find an attachment there, just cut it down, cut it down. You can still play, why not, without attachment. That brings us <laughs> at the very core of Gautam Buddha's teaching, isn't it? Without attachment. Attachment is the cause of suffering now. Not the body, you see. Not this body, not this mind, not the maya, or not this existence, not other people. They are not the cause of your suffering. Attachment. You think it is serious. You think it is <laughs> meaningful. It is all meaningless. It's meaningless in a good way. That you are not even bound by the meaning. Because if, because if you give it a meaning, then it cannot have any other meaning. That means it is bound. It could have had kind of infinite meanings, but now you reduced it to one meaning. And that is surely going to cause problems because that is not the nature of the Maya. The Maya does not like to be limited like this. And so we fall into ignorance by assigning the meanings. That is the problem. Be meaningless, be purposeless, be free. That is what great teachers have said, isn't it? Including Osho and others, you see. It is a free expression. Why are you limiting it? And the limitation is cause of suffering. So it was a great idea to be born as the human being or whatever being you see, whatever kind of monkey or lizard or <laughs> fish or insect. It was a good idea, isn't it? It was a play. Now you are attached to it. That is that is that is what has gone wrong. Now spend your time detaching. That's all. Go back. Go back to the freedom. 
It is not important. Nothing is important here. That will, you know, keep the burden down. Nobody has told you to carry the burden. Throw it away. You can walk without the burden also. You know, travel light and enjoy the scenery. Otherwise, you will be busy taking care of your burden. You will be burdened by it so much that you won't be able to even look what is happening around you. You see, you will be like the donkey that carries the burden. You see, beast of burden instead of the, the owner of the donkey who is enjoying the scenery, who is enjoying the travel. We are all travelers here. What are you accumulating here? <laughs> It is like, <laughs> yes, it is very good that you are you are accumulating, accumulate experiences, because nothing else is going back with you. Like we go to a beautiful place, isn't it? In in the beautiful uh, mountains, rivers, the snow covered peaks, and uh, like uh, pretty resorts and lakes. And do we bring them back? All no. What do we bring back? We bring bring back the photographs. We click the photos. That is like very kind of mad, modern madness. You see, people are busy clicking photos instead of actually watching it. <laughs> so it's it's okay because we want to bring back the experience. We want to bring back the memories. That is what we are here for. This and uh, this earth is a tourist place, isn't it? We are not the residents here. We are. Uh, this is not our home. This is not really our home. We came here to experience, and then we need to take take back the photographs, the memories, the good experience. Yes, the, you know this is kind of intelligent choice. What kind of experience are you going to take back? The bad ones or the good ones? So if you are in ignorance, it will be like <clears throat> very bad experience. It will be like the donkey carrying the burden kind of experience. If you are free, if you are in knowledge, you will be. You will utilize this experience for enjoyment. There is no other purpose here. You see, even the enjoyment is not a purpose because what are you enjoying? <laughs> it is. I am playing a game of hide and seek only. I pretend that I do not know what is this. I do not know what is this world. What is this Maya? And then I get engaged in it. And then when I come back, I know it was all false. It was just a dream. So and the the enjoyment is also false. <laughs> What did you enjoy, really? It's kind of meaningless, isn't it? It's like going to a movie theater, watching a movie, pretending in the movie that oh, the movie is origin real. The the monsters and the villain and the uh, pretty girl there, they are real. They are all you know show that is make believe. And you when when the movie ends, you come back and what what did you enjoy really? Was it real? Was there anything worthwhile to enjoy? Was it even? You can, can you call it even a play? Yes, you can. You see, it provided a tiny bit of entertainment while you fooled yourself into believing that oh, something is happening on the screen. The fooling is the source of enjoyment. You know, a temporary suspension of disbelief. That is the correct technical term which allows us to enjoy a drama or a movie or a story. Like we read the books and all, we enjoy them because we know. Uh, we, we won't be able to enjoy them if if the camera showed up in the movie, <laughs> or if the whole you know, directors and then the extra staff showed up in the movie, and then the illusion breaks down. Now you must be wondering, you know, why are some people so engaged in this illusion? They don't even want to know that this is illusion. Go and tell anybody on the street, look, you are in an illusory world. It is a dream, and he will laugh at you. He will think you are kind of. Lost your marbles or something? You see, <laughs> they don't want to know the truth. It is like sh the camera showing up in the movie. No, no, I don't want to see this. You know, cut it down, cut the movie down. I want to see the unreality. That is more engaging. That is more entertaining. And so we do not see the ignorant people as ignorant. We see them as they are pretending. Like your time will come when you will see the camera in the frame. Don't worry. Enjoy it as as much as you want. You see, <laughs> your time is coming. So the ordinary ignorant people are not kind of lesser. They are not inferior. Uh, they are busy enjoying. They don't want to listen to you because they want this experience. The experience is possible only if you kind of fool yourself into believing that the experience is real. It is all perfect already. You see, can't you see this thing? It's all perfect. Nobody is in ignorance. Nobody is in error. And we are not the 
big ones who are kind of out of this puddle the mud pit the dark pit it is not like this ultimately it is all me some parts of me are busy in the maya some parts are coming out of it some parts are already out of it it is it is all okay it is all perfect and that will give you like relief will, this this kind of realization will uh, uh, free you from the anxiety of what to do what to do i am enlightened what to do now or i am not enlightened what to do now and do whatever you want to do <laughs> why are you asking <laughs> it's a play don't become an adult you know like mukul said don't become that kind of adult remain a child remain like a child